understand? Because we need to hear this, uh, uh, Israel. You understand? The quicker we get this together, and the quicker we understand that the Lord ain't dealing with everybody, and he only dealing with us, then we can recognize our flaws. You understand? And what's our flaws? Listen to these nasty, disgusting Christian pastors, man. You understand? Tell us that it's okay to do all kinds of manner of evil on the planet Earth that makes the Lord turn his back on us, man. Following all these other all these other nationalities and their religions. You understand? Islam is for the Arabs, man. You understand? Buddhism is for the Buddhists, man. You understand? Hinduism is for the Hindus. And guess what? Christianity is for the so-called oppressor, man. You understand? It has not, absolutely nothing to do with blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans' liberation on this planet and our, and our, our dignity or our pride according to the scriptures, man. It has nothing to do with us, man. Nothing. You understand? We out here on our own on this planet and we are being devoured by all these other nations that are surrounding us, man. Yeah, just look around. We don't sell anything. We don't control anything. Damn, we don't even got a speaker in NATO, man. You understand? You know what they talk about in NATO? Who's going to be the next slave masses according to, uh, to us, man? That's what they talk about. Go ahead and bring it out for me, sir. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Go ahead. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Oh, wait. Now, the Lord is showing you he's speaking to a certain people, man. He's speaking to us, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's not speaking to all these heathens that are around us, man. You understand that we idolize and we look up to because they got nice cars and good jobs and nice neighborhoods. He's not talking to them, man. He's talking to us. Go ahead. Oh, children of Israel. I just said it. We just said it. Oh, children of Israel. That's who he's bringing his word out to. Bring it up from the top all over again, sir. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Go ahead. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. O children of Israel. He ain't say everybody on the uh, face of the planet. He said the word he's speaking against you, O children of Israel. House of Israel. Salah. Go ahead. Against the whole family. The whole family. Not just some of us. The whole family. Go ahead. Which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Now, everybody know the story of, the, of the, uh, Moses part in the Red Sea. You understand? Christianity make it sound like a goddamn Disney movie, but it really happened, man. It's chariots, it's, it's uh, ancient chariots under the Red Sea right now, man. Uh, you understand? Artifacts of a flood taking place, I mean, uh, a splitting and a flood being taking place in Egypt, man, on the Red Sea. It's artifacts right now. You understand? Go ahead. He brought us out of uh, Egypt with a mighty hand. Go ahead. Say, verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Now, it's, uh, now we are just saying there's plenty of heathens on this planet, man. Those heathens are other nations, man. These other races of people, man. He said he only knew us out of all the races, all the families on the planet earth, man. You understand? He only knew us. You understand? Us, Israel, blacks, Hispanics, Native American, women, children. You understand? He only know us. He don't know everybody. He's not dealing with everybody. Go ahead. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Ain't that a good father, man? You get bad grades in school, man. You understand? You tell your father you doing your homework. You playing Xbox in your room with the door closed. You on your phone, not doing your homework. You're not studying. You lying to your father. Tell him, oh, yeah, I did my homework. Oh, I'm getting good grades in school. You understand? And what happens? That teacher calls and says, uh, little Johnny is not behaving in class. He's talking in class. He hasn't turned in a homework assignment in over a month. He's failing my class, uh, Big Johnny. Little Johnny is failing my class. And what does a good father do? He chastises. He punishes his son until he gets it right. You understand? That's what the most high power is doing to his people, his chosen people, his children that he chose over all the families on the planet Earth. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, the, the 12 tribes of Israel, a family, man. He's punishing my